Guys, this is probably the coolest trailer I've ever seen. Somebody took a truck bed and turned it into a trailer, especially one with a cap. Look at that. That's awesome. So quick message before this video starts, guys. I still have my stock grill. I know some of you guys were interested in it, so if anybody wants to buy this from me, uh, DM me, PM me, uh, get a hold of me. We could talk it out, figure out a price, and um, all that. So just letting you know I have this still for sale uh, if somebody would like it. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. Today kind of sucks. I was so close to avoiding this problem completely, but me procrastinating and pushing things off has led to this. My truck has pretty much ran out of DEF. For those of, for those of you who don't know, DEF, also known as dumb exhaust fluid. Just kidding, it's diesel exhaust fluid. It's a secondary tank you have on your truck, also located in the fuel uh, cap here. If any of you guys are interested in this magnetic cap, I'll put a link in the description. This is something I haven't shown you guys yet. Just a little something, because this didn't come with a fuel cap. The DEF came with a the cap. They do make these magnetic ones for this. It's already got a cap, so I just bought the diesel one. So I'm going to show you guys the light. And it'll come on. And there it is. DEF low, refill soon. There's the yellow light I'm about to talk about. And the gauge is almost empty. So I was on a highway trip and about 60 miles out from my destination. This light turns on and I'm like, oh. I thought I was going to be able to make it here and back um, so I can delete it early or at least next week. It didn't and my light came on and a lot of people wonder what happens when you run out of DEF or diesel exhaust fluid and the first thing that happens is that yellow light comes on. When the yellow light comes on that pretty much means pull over slash fill that thing up ASAP. If you decide to ignore that that pretty little yellow light will turn from uh, an amber yellow color to a red color and when that happens you and your truck are pretty much sunk your truck will not move over five miles an hour that sounds like a safety hazard to me but i mean i guess if you run out of fuel your truck is gonna slow down but i mean if your truck is limited to five miles an hour you know you can't even drive it to the store to get more fluid which kind of sucks I don't know I, I'm, it's kind of like a gray area of if that's a bad safety feature or not I mean I feel like burning up a three thousand dollar exhaust might be a little safer than putting your life in danger I don't know that brings me to my next question if you have a manual trans does it still limit you because I mean you're shifting and picking all the gears yourself I don't know if that's able to limit you still I don't know if that's a computer thing or like a electronic like engine thing or is it a transmission thing that limits you if anyone knows the answer to that put that in the comments below just for personal uh, knowledge today I'm gonna show you the process of fixing this low DEF problem and I'm gonna show you what you have to do and how to fix this low DEF issue So considering my truck, if I drive it too much, I will uh, uh, be limited to five miles an hour. We're gonna drive to the nearest auto store, which happens to be AutoZone, and uh, pick up some exhaust fluid, which uh, it, it, it sucks. So uh, we're gonna go pick that up right now, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do to refill this, this little annoying thing you have to do on these new diesels. All right, here we are pulling into AutoZone. All right, 
right guys, $16 later, we got this big carton of junk over here, so we're gonna take it home and we're gonna fill up my tank with it. Yeah, we got the $16 box of junk after taxes and whatnot. Uh, I didn't buy two boxes because obviously I'm not going to need it after this. But it comes, it, this box is pretty much high grade urea and deionized water. A common misconception is that this, if you really think about it, urea is what comes out of your own pee. Um, people think this is just pee and water. Uh, do not, do not pee in your DEF tank. This isn't, yes, urea can be extracted from human um, urine, but this pretty much synthetic. It is created urea, um, and it, it's not what comes out of your body. Your body has a lot of toxins in it, um, and this is pure, you know, synthetic uh, created urea, so it is clean, and it is what's supposed to go in your exhaust. So don't pee in your DEF tank. Quick little uh, background here. DEF pretty much breaks down the nitrogen oxides and carbons and stuff in normal diesel exhaust and turns it into nitrogen and water, which is harmless. Between diesel, gas, and electric vehicles, extracting the, you know, the lithium ion and stuff for the, the batteries and electric vehicles and, you know, the fact that they don't break down if, the, you know, the car was ever scrapped, all that stuff. Um, what comes out of gas exhaust pipes all those harmful, you know chemicals as well three DEF diesel vehicles are probably some of the safest for the environment see all these semi trucks rolling coal and stuff uh, with heavy loads and all the unburnt fuel But the unburnt fuel returns to the earth the carbon in the soot, you know lands back on the ground Even though it goes in the air just like you're painting something there's overspray the overspray a tangible part of you know the exhaust from a you know a paint can that stuff lands somewhere you find it you know it's it's a pain but the diesel does the same thing it'll go in the air but you know it'll find its way back to the earth which is why it is some of the safest exhaust out there yes there are chemicals in every vehicle exhaust but as for diesel the soot part of it is carbon it goes right back to the earth where it belongs where it came from um, gas exhaust and the lithium ion you know extraction from the earth is so much more harmful I'm not saying that as oh yeah go diesel but I'm just saying that so there's a you know misconception is wiped off the table that's why this stuff is kind of a you know it kind of sucks um, but today we got to fill up the truck with it otherwise I'm not gonna be getting anywhere <laughs> Upon opening the box, I see it comes with a nice little nozzle, which is super nice. It also says it's supposed to be used inside the box, so we're not going to remove it from the box. Here we go. I feel like we're going to make a gigantic mess. And we fill this up slowly. Two and a half gallons. We'll see. This should fill up half the tank and I'll just have to drain the rest or whatever when I um, delete it. And just like that, two and a half gallons are in the tank. Let's hope that's enough. Sometimes I've heard once you go, the low light goes on, you have to refill the whole tank for it to go off, so we'll see. All right guys, wish me luck. Oh yeah, look at that. Light is off and the DEF gauge is somewhere, you know, in the middle. That's all we needed. I didn't the guy was trying to get me to buy two boxes of that because it was cheaper. It was like two for 25. Glad that you know the light went off. Alright guys, so not that I wanted to do this, but um at least I'll be able to drive back home. Not exactly what I wanted to do. It was extra 16 bucks I probably did not want to spend. But um I hope that gave you guys a little bit of background on DEF. And you know, if there's anyone more of an expert uh, than me, because I'm no expert at all on this stuff, I was just giving you guys some facts. Post in the comments below. I'm sure there's a lot of people, a lot of people who would like to know more uh, than I know for sure. Saying that, it's time to put the DEF box where it belongs. Let's get ready for the tune, delete, clutch, um, exhaust. And soon after, the gears. The gears are the only thing making me a little bit worried. Um, I've never done anything of that extent before. I have a few buddies that have, so I might get uh, 
Obviously, I'm gonna get their help with it, but um, so I think giving me any bit of uh, you know anxiety right now is getting those gears done. We'll be able to get the tune exhaust, delete, uh, clutch, you know, all coming in soon, and a few cool other things in between. So I'm super, super excited for that, guys. And um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. And um, thank you guys for 25,000 subscribers. We are a quarter of the way to 100K. I wonder how fast we can get there. Especially, I wonder how fast we can get to 50K. So I say thank you guys for the support. Take care. It's starting to rain. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please get down there. Click subscribe. Shoot this video a thumbs up. I want to say take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.